watch the camera put 50 pounds on me. Lead. Lead. Because this mohawk ain't working out on TV. Hey, welcome to The Chill Spot. I'm Corinne. And I'm Lisa. I'm glad to have you with me. Oh, thank you. Lori's busy working in Michigan. Michigan so. yeah. Yeah. Her and Drake both, and I miss both of them, but yeah. you're a good substitute. Well, thank you. <laughs> so today on The Chill Spot, we're going to be talking, um, well, discussing a few things that's going on tomorrow as well as today. Okay. So starting with Thursday, to give you guys kind of a little bit of a heads up of what we're going to be talking about is, it is National Clean Out Your Refrigerator. And that's Thursday the 14th. That's Thursday the 14th, yeah. So we're not talking about that one that's standing in the corner that has all of your kids' school stuff hanging off of it. We're talking about the one that's actually in your break room at work. Oh, wow. That can be dangerous. Yeah. It can. And I know what you're thinking, that's housekeeping's job, but it's not. It's your lunch, it's your responsibility. Well, and when it's when it's your break room, mm -hmm. that's a community space, and so right. everybody needs to take responsibility yeah. for um, At the Veterans Home, we actually have a little sign. I think someone actually just put it up there, but it says your mother doesn't work here, so clean up after yourself. And I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like yep. that a lot. Yep. So for some um, easy tips, um, you need to keep it organized, um, throw away all the expired food or moldy food, all open pop cans. I don't know how many times I went in and opened up the door and get splashed all over my uniform because there's nothing, no paper towel, no nothing right. on there. And you want to pitch any, everything that you are not using. You know, the old ketchup bottles, the salad dressing bottle, just, just get rid of it. And then all those packets of leftover soy sauce yes. and hot sauce from to go. They food. accumulate. And they and sometimes they start leaking mm -hmm. and yeah. They do. The yep. jellies. Yeah. There's yep. always jellies. Yep. And then remember to date all the items. Um, don't date it for when you're bringing it in there. But if you know if it's gonna expire like two or three days from now, date it for that date. So when housekeeping does come in, then they're going to look at that and your lunch isn't going to be pitched because it has that date on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You ever have problems with people eating your food? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't want to say this on the air, but I have, <laughs> I have gotten even before. <laughs> Yeah, so I have. Uh, I've gotten even, and they, you know, you can kind of tell after how you get even, mm -hmm. which who person mm -hmm. got in there. And got I used your to. Salad. I used to drink a special cream in my coffee that I would keep um, by and take in, and I would keep it in the refrigerator. And I noticed that it kept going down and down, and it was always <laughs> empty. So one day, um, I put breast milk in it. And didn't tell anybody. And then after it had gone down, I put a note on the bottle of what they were actually. <laughs> I didn't really do that. I saw it as a meme on Facebook and thought it was a great idea. But Well, now that you said breast milk, I can tell you, I put that flax seed all over my salad. Because uh -huh. I have a little problem from yeah. time to time. Flax seed's good for you. And let me tell you, I knew exactly who took my salad because they was in the bathroom. <laughs> That's funny. That's but hey, funny. you know, you shouldn't take people's lunches. That's all right. And then the second thing we're going to actually talk about, which is today, and that's World Kindness Yay, Day. Yay, that's a holiday that I like. Yeah. Um, we all know that life can be rough, and sometimes we can be downright mean um, with each other. And sometimes we're mean, and we don't even realize it. We're not even paying mm -hmm. attention to our tone of voice. Right. And yeah, I have a hard time with that because sometimes I can't always hear how loud I'm talking because I can't catch the tone. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, so if I if ever sounds like I'm yelling at someone, just say, "Hey, Corinne, you're being kind of loud," and I can tone it tone right. it down because it happens a right. lot. Well, I looked unapproachable because I have this thing called <laughs> RBF. Gary may have to bleep us, but it's called <laughs> resting pitch base. And it's just because, I don't know, because of hereditary, my mouth kind of turns down. And mm -hmm. so I have to remind myself to not do that. So yeah. back to world kindness. Day. Right. And I was looking at um, some ideals to share with everyone. And I actually came across this elderly gentleman. 
and he looked kind of rough. He had a long beard, and you could tell that he was homeless from the picture. Mm -hmm. But he was actually holding a sign that said, Seeking Human Kindness. Aww. And I was kind of sad, and I, and I thought to myself, the more I looked at the picture, is how horrible it would feel to not be loved. Oh, I know. And accepting. I, it, it just kind of breaks your heart. Well, you know, not to detract from the topic, but you and the gentleman and the sign reminds me of a few years ago. Um, it was probably the first Thanksgiving after the Joplin tornado, and I'd gone to the Hallmark store in town to buy some nice Thanksgiving cards and write in for the kids. And as I was pulling out, I hit a hobo on a bicycle, homeless guy on a bicycle, and I was just devastated and crying. And, and um, you know what the one thing he wanted from me was? A hug. Aww. Yeah, so here I was in, you know, five o'clock traffic, giving this guy a full body hug. Um, but he could have wanted money. He could have wanted... I gave him money know. anyway, after the hug. But the primary thing he wanted was a hug. And I was shocked. Yeah. Because he probably needed that. He needed to know that you, you know, by you saying you're sorry, that that, you know, that validated that you really were. Well, he looked know. like a fellow that probably didn't get too many hugs in his days, you know. So, so today, um, please just take the moment to put a smile on somebody's face um, just like hearing your story, if you, you know, you, we hear and see panhandlers all the time. Some of them could be actually legit and some of them aren't, but take the time to roll down your window and just, you know, tell them, have a good day, um, wish them well. If you do have money, you know, spare that change because you never know. And you know. kindness doesn't have to be even done with money. Right. Kindness can be... You know, like when I go to the store, how the grocery carts stick mm -hmm. together. If there's an elderly person I who I can see struggling, I always try to get the grocery carts apart for apart. them. I mean, there's all kinds of things to do yeah. that shows kindness mm -hmm. without even having to spend any money. Not it doesn't that cheap, cost. It doesn't cost anything. No. Well, I have that T-shirt that says "Human Kind." Be both. Mm -hmm. Kindness can solve so many problems. So today on the show, we would like to close by saying that everyone matters, and most of all, you, you matter. matter.